Hi, I'm Nathan, lead designer of Zaharia. I'm going to explain some details about our project. The idea of Zaharia was born about one year ago, with the purpose of creating a deep and well-structured RPG. We focused on how the choices made by the player during the game can affect the plot events. However, what really stands out is the setting we managed to create. Hi, I'm Fabio, creative director of the game, and I mainly take care of the setting and the writing of Zaharia. The setting we made was inspired by the Middle Eastern world, with the purpose of realizing something different from all the only fantasy world. In an RPG, the setting can't just characterize the aesthetical side of the game, and that's why we worked hard to recreate a cultural context which could be significantly different from the Western medieval world. All this work is not an end in itself, since it's reflected in an arty part of the game thanks to characters and dialogues which will be consistent with the features of the setting. Hi, I am Mirko, art director and lead artist of Zaharia. When we work on the graphic aspect of the title, with both two-dimensional illustrations and three-dimensional models, our first concern is to be coherent with the setting. Just as the gameplay should not offer an experience in contrast with what the player discovers about the game's world, in the same way the graphic section cannot ignore the importance of the setting. That's why the artists work in very close contact with the writers to make a consistent product with a precise identity. For a matter of coherence and credibility, we stated that, from the graphic point of view, Zaharia should distance itself from the classic, starting with the Middle Eastern setting to end with the game design which will feature something different from the classic huge armors and even huger swords. Zaharia displays itself to the player as an isometric RPG with real-time exploration phases and a turn-based combat system. During the game it will be possible for the players to recruit several characters inside their specific groups. That's why we're working hard to create a deep and articulated combat system that will make the player choose between a lot of different strategies and tactics approaches. Our goal is to give to the player a combat system full of variables and deeply conditioned by the location of the battle. This will make the experience more various and the challenges always different and interesting. The most important part of Zaharia is its narrative component, the engine of all the events. Dialogues will be of primary importance in the game and will allow the player to elaborate a free and contextual interpretation. During the game, especially in dialogues, the player will have the opportunity to make all kinds of choices that will influence the future events in different ways. To make the dialogic part of the game deeper and more exciting, we decided to give great importance to the character's reputation. He will gain a certain fame in the game's world and among the different factions that inhabit it. Having a great prestige in the Zaharian world means to have a greater freedom of choice and action, and to proceed in the game favored by one's political and social way. Zaharia will be an open game, where the player will be able to create his own alter ego and shape him at will. Making a big main plot with a linear structure will mean forcing the player to make a compromise with the cult they created. On the contrary, the plot in Zaharia will be something dynamic, able to adapt itself to the choices of the player, which is not a predestinated chosen one, but a simple man like many others. The main story won't be the only narrative branch that lasts for long. In the game there will be quests of any kind, some really short and others long and complex. The experience we aim to give to the player is to create his own alter ego and to characterize him during time, making him live a huge amount of adventures. 
This is the reason why we prepared really long storylines, which managed to combine the narrative intensity typical of the story-driven RPGs with the freedom we find in the world-driven RPGs. This structure will let us examine in depth the relationship between the main character and the members of his party, which will become adventure pals in innumerable situations. Ours is an ambitious project, born out of the passion we have for RPGs. We are not simply working on a game, we are working on the game we want to play ourselves, and that's why we are so prompted to do our best and to aim high. Turning to Kickstarter shows also a desire to interact with other fans of this kind of game and asking their support. We guarantee a total commitment, not only in making the game, but also in listening to the community. It would be wrong to assume to know all the answers, and that's why it will be really important to have feedbacks and advices from all the people that will support us in this challenge. Thanks for your attention and your support. We invite you to read further details of the game in the Kickstarter page or in our website and to play the demo we prepared for you.